Oh, good morning. Happy Sabbath to each and every one. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. I thank God for keeping me and that God, I'm, 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 I'm getting better. So we ain't going to go through a whole lot of preliminary like everybody else because I'm here to glorify God and to preach his word and not to hold you down. So we're going to go through prayer, then we're going to start our teaching. Let us pray. Father God Elohim, Father God of the Hebrew Israelites, the Holy One of Israel, its maker, O great I am that I am, we come boldly to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, through faith, asking you for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, asking you for protection from all the different voices, from the tree and the voices that are using your name. Dear Father God, by your Holy Spirit, we pray and ask trillions of people are within the church and they're using your book, your name, and your word, but yet they're saying, let your kingdom come, but that's not what they really want. They love this world, Father God, but Father God, we pray for the hastening of your return, that the new Jerusalem come down from heaven and set up on Mount Zion, where there's no political denomination, where there's no racism, where there's no hatred. You said in your word, in Revelation, the place of no more, no more death, no more hatred, no more hunger, the place of no more. Dear Father God, where let the kingdoms of this world become yours, Father God. Set up your thoughts, your ways, your commandments, your ideas by your Holy Spirit, by faith. You say it's impossible to please you except we believe. Now, Father God, by your Holy Spirit, give us the provisions of heaven through Jesus Christ that you have provided for us. Dear Father God, no deception. Order our footsteps. Father God, give us ears to hear, eyes to see. Dear Father God, establish our thoughts, prepare our hearts. For you are our refuge, you are our rock. We come to thee boldly, asking for forgiveness, mercy, your strength. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen. amen. Genesis 3, starting at verse 8, and it reads, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. And I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, wherefore I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou givest me to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, I, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Matthew, Matthew 17, verse 5 through 7. While he yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Voice. 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 The sound produced in a person Larynx and uttered 
through the mouth as speech or song, voice. There's, now I'm let the Bible talk, the voice. We cannot distinguish between Satan and God's voice, but he said spiritual discernment. Let's read, let's read Matthew 24, 4 and 5. Matthew 24, starting at verse 4, and it reads, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, talking about the voices, many, to treat the people that are upon this earth. Now, listen to me. I'm talking about in the spiritual realm. I'm talking about the Holy One of Israel. I ain't talking about that in the world. So we know there's all kinds of things, different sounds in the world. But the voice, those of us that are so, supposed to be in the sanctuary to worship God, and we're here, the preacher, the deacon, uh, mama, daddy, sister, brother, uncle, we hear every voice. There's one thing that Adam and Eve did know. When they did wrong, what's the first thing they do? They try to hide. But they heard the voice. Let me read on. In verse 5, it said, Many will come in what? My name, saying that I am Christ and shall deceive many, all in the name of the Lord. They're using the name of Jesus Christ and they're hoodwinking you. They're using the name of Jesus Christ. And what? Adam and Eve, God said that they heard his voice. Let me get this first. Guess who the voice is? The voice is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the word of God. Jesus Christ, the same word that God spoke and said, let there be light, that's the voice that we need to be hearing. We're going to find out that's the same voice that God gave a body to. We're going to find that, matter of fact, what we read, get, 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 guess who it is? It's the voice of the almighty God. It's his voice. See, what did Adam and Eve do? God gave, just like we're doing today, God gave them a commandment. Thou shall what? Not. That's all he told them. Thou, they're talking about the voice now. Who is the word of, uh, 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 of God? Who is Jesus Christ? See, that's why he said, let us. Who do you think he was talking to? Let us make men. You know, Jesus has always been there. What people can't fathom in their mind, the thing that we're speaking Right now, you can get and make a person. Talking about the voice. Talking about the voice. God told them one thing not to do. They didn't want eternal life. Talking about the voice. The voice gave them commandments. You know what? You can do anything in this garden you want. I don't care what it is, but one thing I ask you not to do. Do not eat from the tree. Listen to this. Of the knowledge. Now, that means we know of the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. Guess what they did? They wanted to know right from wrong. Guess what? Guess what? The voice. The voice. But then what they do? They tried to hide themselves. Now, let me go on with scripture. Let me mark this down. So he said, don't be deceived. Because everybody's talking about God. Everybody using Jesus Christ's name. Okay? Let's look at St. John. The tenth chapter. St. John, the tenth chapter. Let's look at verse four and five. Look at verse four and five. And he said, And when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And his sheep follow him, for they know. His, well, they know his voice. They know the words. They know the sound 
of the voice of the great I am that I am. They know. I'm talking about God's people. I ain't talking about everybody. Let me, let me, let me read on verse 5. It is and it is. In a stranger, they will not follow, but will flee from the voice of strangers. And what we don't, we sitting in different churches, different denominations, and we are saying, what well, God said, God said. The, Jesus has been there with God. Let me, you know what? Let me, let me read on. Okay, let's look at verse 26 and 27 of St. John 10 chapter. And it reads, But ye believe not, because you are not my oh, not my sheep, as I said unto you. Listen to this. My sheep, wait a minute, my sheep will hear my voice, the, the voice. I heard, have we, that is a song, say, I heard the voice of Jesus say, say what? If it ain't in this book, let me read on. We'll, we'll get to that. And it said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Talking about the voice. The voice. Can we discern who is talking to us? Can we discern as we read the word of God on the paper? And I guess it's missing that God spoke the word, he put it on paper, and he gave the word. Let me, let me, let me read on. You look at Colossians, the first chapter. We're talking about voice. Voice, it's a sound. As we, in the Bible, we know, and I think it's 1 Corinthians, everything give out a distinct sound. Piano, trumpet, flute, clarinet. Clearly, but we cannot distinguish. We, the, the, the people of God, can't distinguish who talking to us. You know why? We refuse to accept the written word, wait a minute, that, that, we, we're going to get to that. Let me read on. Let's look at Colossians, the first chapter, starting at verse 15. This and it is. Who is the image of the invisible God? Who is he talking about? The firstborn of every creature. See, Jesus always been there. He has always, let me go on. Let me let, me let the Bible talk. It says, for by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in the earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be what? Thorns, it don't make no difference. Or dominions, or principalities, or power. All things were created by him and for him. We're talking about the word. We're talking about the voice. The voice is, let me go on, the voice. So who you heard? God told me what? We're going to find out. We're we going to find out some more stuff in there. We ain't listening to the voice. We ain't listening just as Adam and Eve. Rules and recollection, commandments and statutes and law he gave us. In this, let me read on. Let me read on. Verse 17. And he is what? Before all things. And by him all things consist. And he is, wait a minute, the head of the body, the church. Who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence? Let me tell you something. See, that 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 was gonna mess up. Let me tell you something. He is the first person talking about. We talking about the voice now, the voice that came in the flesh, the voice that God spoke, let the light be separated from the dark. The same voice that that said, "Let us make men." See, that's Jesus Christ. That is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's look at St. John, the first chapter. St. John, the first chapter. Verse 1 through 5. Now, we, 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 we're talking about the voice. 
Listen to what it said. In the beginning, what? Whoa, whoa! In the the voice. In the beginning was what? The word. In the word was who? With God. Talking about Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. The voice. The voice. Wait a minute. Let me read this. Let me get through. In the word, what? Was God. The same was in the beginning with God. See, we people, we, 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 we need to wake up. God tells us, see, we need to wake up and listen to the voice. We're sitting under preachers and deacons and different people, everybody. I tell you what, you cannot put something on Facebook, and I guarantee everybody got an opinion. Everybody got a reason. But guess what? We talking about the word. God, he said, my sheep, not everybody, see, people don't, my sheep will hear my voice. He didn't say everybody was going to hear his voice. He said, his sheep will hear his voice and will not, let me go on, let me go on. Then look at, then look at Revelation, now, this is to the seven churches of, 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 of Revelation. See, God wrote to these Seven churches. And, 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 and let me read on. Let me read on. Look at the start of Revelation, the second chapter. Revelation 2 7 through 10. Listen to what he said. He, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He that has an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit says unto the churches, to him that overcometh, would I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. All right? Let's look at, let's look at verse, I ain't going to read on, let's look at verse 11. And he said, what? He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches, that he, that he that overcome it shall be, shall not be hurt of the second day. Now, now, I'm gonna give you the scriptures, but we're gonna, I need to get to somewhere else right now. Okay, then we got Revelation 11 through 16, 2. We got Revelation 2, 17 through 28, and verse 29. Then we got Revelation 3. Five and six. Let me see. Do I want to read one of these? Revelation three, five and six. Let 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 let's read one at the third chapter. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed with white raiment, and I will not bolt out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father. And before his angel. Here it is again. Watch this. He that has an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. Let me tell you something. We are trying. Here we go. The voice. We are trying to separate God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. We can't do that. We cannot separate them. Wait a minute. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let us go to 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. We're talking about the voice. And we wonder what's going on in our society. We can't distinguish. We don't know because we're sitting in all these different churches talking about the voice. And the voice, have we heard what the God, Lord God Almighty is saying? Have we heard? Are we really his sheep? We are following. We, you had Jim Jones and Guyana. You had all these different preachers coming through him. We drinking Kool-Aid, Sinai, because what? We don't accept what's written. Come on, but we ain't accepting Jesus Christ. This how this wait a minute. This how this is. Jesus Christ. This how this word, the word. Then we just read in the beginning what the word. Wait a minute. We're gonna find out. You know, Jesus got a body. He asked God to give him a body to come down here. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. But let, let, let me read this first. First Corinthians 2 and 10. First Corinthians, 2nd chapter, starting at verse 10. And watch it this. When we're trying to separate. God the Father and, and the Holy Spirit. What? What's this? But God, wait a minute, 
has revealed them to us by his spirit. Wait a minute, for the what? For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deepest things of God. So how the Holy Spirit is going again? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, this got to be a lie. This ain't what they're saying, the voice. We well, listen to what the voice saying. It says, let me read that again. It says, but God has revealed, that means show, but people think that means hidden. Them unto us by his Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, the deepest things. Talking about the voice. See, you got God the Father, you got the Word. But no, but no, I ain't, no, I ain't, I ain't getting there my third. Now watch this, verse 11. For what man, okay, knows the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. But, so what? What are you telling you? But the spirit of God. So who telling you to do what? You don't study. You don't read. You don't pray. And you want women. Everybody, I know, I read the Bible. I know the Bible too. That's all you know. But you do you know Jesus. He said, his sheep. But do you, let, let me go on. He said, verse 12. Now we receive, listen to this. Not the spirit of the world. But the spirit which is of God, that the uh, that we might know, he didn't say guess, that we might know the things that are freely given to us. It's talking about the word. The word, wait a minute, the word came and died out on Calvary. See, the word was both with it. Let me read on. Let me, let me, let me let the Bible talk. Let's look at Hebrew 1. Hebrew 1. Talking about the voice. Talking about the voice. How many voices in your head? Who are you listening to? Are you really accepting the written word of God? It's Jesus Christ on paper. Why is that messing you up? Why is it that the, the voice of God, he made in a human, why is that so, uh, 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 it's a phantom to you? But we believe in all these things in the world, all these different animated, how they don't, let me go on. Okay, right there. Hebrew, the first chapter, verse 1. Listen to this. God, who has sundered times and in diable manners, spoke in time past unto the Father by the prophets. Now watch this. Now watch this. Hath, verse 2, hath in these last days spoken unto us, wait a minute, by his Son, who he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Uh oh, Jesus was there. He's always been there. You can't bring them read on. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person in the whole all things by the word, by the, oh, oh, by the word, talking about the voice. The voice is Jesus Christ. By the word, let me read on. Let me read on. By the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand. Well, let me go on. So who we talking about? The voice. In the cool of the day, the voice. Have we heard the voice of God? Are we hearing the commandments, the laws, the statutes? He said, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. As hot, let me go on. Let me go on. Let's look at, let's look at 1 John 5. 1 John 5, 6 and 8. And it reads, watch this, 1 John 5. Six and eight, and it reads, "This is He, wait a minute, what? That came by water and blood. You remember when we were on the cross when they stuck Him in, in in the side? What came out of? Let me go on. Let me go on. Not by water only, but by water 
in blood. He was baptized in the blood of a shed to reconcile us back to God. Let me read on. And it is the spirit that bear the witness because the spirit is the truth. Did we just read? Did we just read? The spirit take the deepest thing as God and reveal them unto us. Then we read on. Then we read on. He said, listen to this. Verse 7. There are three that bear record in heaven. The, the Father, uh-oh, see, the Word, uh-oh, the, the Voice, the Word, the Voice, the, the, no, the Word, the Voice, the Word, the Voice, the Word is the Voice of the Great I Am that I Am. He is the Voice of Father God Elohim. He is the Voice of the Great I Am that I Am. Let me read on. The Word and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. Let me, let me see. Now, that's one in thought, one in mind. Wait a minute. Let me, listen to me. The voice. People want to say it's a trinity. Ain't no person off in me. Ain't no person off in me. Jesus ain't even off in me. God ain't even off in me. God's name, Holy Spirit, is off in me. Let me, let, let me mark this. It's just like my kid. I ain't off in my kid. My sperm. That's all the spirit is. It is the power of God. It's just like the wind. That's why the God ain't no body snatcher. He ain't got his ear in me. God ain't in me. The Father, the Son ain't in me, Jesus. He sent back the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. So his spirit wait a minute. Let me let me let me let me, let me go. We talking about talking about the voice. We talking about the voice. So let me let me read on. Watch what it says. Verse 8. And there are three that bear witness in the earth. Who? The spirit, in the water, in the blood. And these three are one in agreement. Talking about the voice. They are together, people. And your preacher or whoever telling you that they, uh, what Jesus said, Jesus ain't changed nothing in God's work. Let me, let me read on. Let me read on. Let's look at 1 Peter. The first chapter. First Peter, the first chapter, verse one and two. In the read, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ. To the strangers scattered throughout Pontius, Galatia, Cappadocia, by Athena, elect according to the knowledge of God the Father. Listen to this. Now, we can't separate these. What is it? The elect according to the knowledge of who? God the Father. Through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace be multiplied. Talking about the voice. While we're in trouble, we're just like Adam and Eve. God gave us that shall not. But now our shall not have come. We shall do. The voice. We need to spend time with the voice, the written word. We need to understand that Jesus is the word of God. Wait a minute, I want, I want you to read this. Let me, I want to read this. Watch this. I need to find that Hebrew 10. They go to Hebrew 10. Hebrew 10. Now watch this. See, people, people. The all powerful, the all mighty, ain't nothing too hard for them. The same God, the same person that said, Let us, Jesus, the same person, He the preeminent, He the first person that was a human being that died and came back as a what? Spiritual being. You hardly, I've been born again. You're a liar. You is still flesh and blood. Jesus died. He didn't have no flesh and blood. He was totally spirit. God said, I'm looking for those to worship me in spirit 
and in truth. So how are you born again? We're waiting to be in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. We're waiting to be, I've been born. No, you ain't. Some of the boys ain't told you that. The, what we letting our preacher tell us, I've been born again. What you here? What y'all? Go read St. John 3. He told Nicodemus, flesh and blood. Wait a minute. Flesh and blood will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Nicodemus, how can I be born again? You know what the word told him? You got to be born in the spirit. What are we right now? What are we right now? I'm flesh and blood. How about, let, me, let me go on. That's, 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 that's something. Let me go on. Now watch this. Let's go to the Hebrews, the 10th chapter, starting at the third verse. Listen to him. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sin every year. The people, what, what, what was Jesus Christ? He was the Lamb of God. See, the, what, let me go on. Wait a minute. For it is not what? Possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away our sin. See, this is ceremonial law here, people. As you read the Deuteronomy and Leviticus, all these different washings and all these different things. That's why you're talking about Jesus didn't start to set them go on. Now watch this. Wherefore, when he came into the world, who were we talking about? The voice. He said, sacrifices and offering, thy wood is not. But a body that women thou has prepared for me. A body I want to be. Let me, let me read on. And burnt offerings and sacrifice. For sin thou has no pleasure. Then I say, What? Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. To do thy will, O God. What, what, what are we talking about? 